Welcome back to Good Doctrine video blog episode 6. In this episode, we are going to discuss why borrowed light isn't a thing. Now you will remember in the last episode that we talked about how Lehi, when he was searching for light in his dark and dreary wilderness, encountered a man dressed in white. This did not have the expected effect from Lehi. As he followed this man, he found himself back in darkness again. Uh, light bearers exist. You and I, we are all bearers of light to the extent that we take Christ's name upon us and we don't hide our light under a bushel. So let's assume that this light bearer did have some light. As a light bearer, he can show Lehi how to get light, but he can't give, share, or lend a light to Lehi because he is not the source of the light. This light bearer couldn't give Lehi personal revelation and he couldn't give Lehi gifts of the spirit. Light bearers can't sanctify, forgive, or lift burdens or comfort in the way that God can. They also can't grant you assurance of eternal life. So while a light bearer can point you in the right direction, the heavy lifting of getting that light needs to be done by each one of us. On the other hand, if we connect to Christ, the source of all light, we get that sanctification and cleansing. Christ's light enlightens the mind, gives revelation, testifies of truth, grants gifts of the Spirit, fills with joy, lightens burdens, comforts, heals, softens and changes our heart, and removes our desire to sin. There is absolutely no comparison between following a light bearer and following Christ. It is literally the difference between night and day. Remember how we discussed that in the parable of the ten virgins, everyone in that parable is religious, quote-unquote. However, you may notice that these people were asking the light bearers for light. And what do those light bearers say? They said, we can't share our light with you. Go and get your own light yourself. Well, why is that? Because each one of these light bearers is not the source of the light. Christ, the source of that light, when he came to earth, did something very strange, and that is that he did not do religion like everyone else did. Christ spent his time with individuals, helping them individually connect to heaven. Christ could have established a megachurch. He could have drawn record crowds, and he could have eclipsed and destroyed the Jewish church of the time. In his discussion with Pilate, Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. So what kind of kingdom or church does God have? In Doctrine and Covenants section 10, we read in verse 67, Behold, this is my doctrine. Whosoever repenteth and cometh unto me, the same is my church. Christ's church is not a building. It is not an organization as we think of it. It is whoever comes to him individually, just as we see in the parable of the ten virgins. He goes on to say, Whoever declareth more or less than this, the same is not of me, but is against me. Therefore he is not of my church. And now behold, whosoever is of my church and endureth of my church to the end, him will I establish upon my rock, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against them. And now remember the words of him, who is the life and light of the world, your Redeemer, your Lord, and your God. Amen. So again, while we might put all of these people in our earthly church, only those who are willing to carry this light and connect with the light from above 
are considered by Christ to be part of his church. Lehi, when he encountered this light, when he tasted of it, when he finally found the light that he was looking for, you will remember that he called out to his family and told them to come and eat of the fruit. The dream could have had Lehi taking a bushel basket and distributing that fruit to other people, but that's not how it works. Each person individually had to come to the tree and pick the fruit themselves. In other words, as we said in the beginning, there is no such thing as borrowed light. That's not a thing. You can't give that light to anybody. You can invite them to come. You can show them the benefits of that light in your life. But each person individually has to come to God and qualify to be counted among his people or his church, which is a church and kingdom that is not of this world. That's the end of episode six. We'll see you in the next episode.